Hi friends, good morning. Right, this is Mr. Srinivas. Yeah, in the last class, we discussed about tense part to one and part two. In the part to one, you might have watched tense simple, simple present, simple past, and simple future. And in the part two, present continuous. past to continuous and future continuous right the remaining part the part 3 now we are going to discuss which means perfect tense present perfect past perfect and future perfect we have right let us discuss about perfect tense okay what do you mean of perfect tense which means whichever completed or finished exactly which is exactly finished okay right let us discuss about present perfect tense okay what do you mean of present perfect tense okay it shows an action just completed it shows an action just completed okay just completed or recently completed yeah just now completed right already finished okay see some clue words i i'll show you just just now till now recently already so far ever never before yet why yet yet okay when you see this these lines okay just just now till now recently already so far ever never before at okay here these words negative these are positive okay see here we must know about the structure okay when we use the perfect tense subject to plus have form comes have or has in the present okay have has plus v3 okay whenever you see have or has had will have and shall have the third form of the verb is used okay after have or has we should use the third form of the main verb okay this is the structure for the present perfect tense okay let us discuss about some examples here okay see i have completed breakfast just now you can see here i have completed breakfast just now okay see one more example we have already watched the movie okay you can see this exact example also we have already watched the movie okay here you can see have completed so have completed shows the structure here have plus v3 which means the present perfect so just or just now completed just or just now completed sentence means the verb have or has plus v3 show us the present perfect tense so when an action just completed we should say in the same structure have or has plus v3 we should use have or has plus v3 okay so sometimes okay one more example she 
has met okay she has met her friend recently okay one more example you can say she has met her friend recently okay some different kind of example we discuss okay in any competitive exam most of the examples are given from the negative okay negative sentence we can see look at this i dash not meet so meet okay instead of okay okay now have or has okay i okay after i we should use have after plural have singular has right okay have not have when we have when we use have then we should use meet becomes met meet becomes met okay i have not met her yet or so far okay one more example she has never done a mistake she has never done a mistake okay when we see this example when we observe this example the question is not is asked the question is asked in negative manner so never never done a mistake even never see here the clue clue words okay when you see the clue words never we use okay never means negative okay see this she has never done a mistake even has after also we use done we three okay this is the present perfect tense past perfect tense okay this tense is different friends because till now we discussed a single tenses but now double tense we use okay here combination tense we discuss okay combination tense which means the past perfect tense so present perfect tense means which was okay, an action just completed right but past perfect means of course it was in the past it was happened in the past but not single sentence not a single tense here we describe about two tenses okay the definition is it shows two past actions it shows two past actions which were happened one after another okay one after another or one before another right so okay let us discuss about the structure we see subject to place had okay so before present perfect means have and has but here past past perfect so that had plus v3 plus object okay subject plus had plus v3 plus object so example you can observe the train dash leave the platform see this the train dash leave the platform before i reached the station okay this is the example of course just imagine a question is given in exam right see here before is the conjunction to combine two sentences right see here one sentence and 
two sentences. Second sentence. See, here I reached the station. Okay. When you see the second sentence, it is belongs to V two. V two means simple past tense. But the first sentence, first sentence was happened. The first sentence had happened before the second sentence happened. First sentence had happened before the second sentence happened. So that here the train means the train had leave leave becomes left. The train had left the platform before I reached the station. Okay. One more example we see. Of course, you can also write the second sentence first and the first sentence second. One more example we discuss. My father had gone away. My father had gone away before I woke up. Okay, my father had gone away before I woke up. Okay, so the same thing here had gone. Had gone is the past perfect tense. So only, only if you want to say only single sentence, my father had gone away. If you want to say, but that should be spoken in simple past, but not past perfect. See one example. Before I got a job, before I got job, my friend had. Okay, see one more example. Before I got job, before I got job, my friend had completed PhD. Okay, my friend had completed PhD. So see here, even this is the second sentence. This is the first sentence. Even if you write the sentence in second line, also it gives the correct meaning of the sentence. See here, before I got the job, my friend had completed PhD. So come again. It shows two. past actions which were happened one after another right okay future perfect tense okay see the structure is subject to place shall have or will have okay subject to place Shall have or will have plus V three plus object. Okay, and the structure is subject plus have or shall have or will have plus V three plus object. Okay, the definition is it shows an action that will be completed by a certain future time. Certain future time. means by tomorrow okay by next week okay by next week by evening see here whatever will be done by certain future time future time certain future time okay certain time in future right see See for example, I shall have completed. I shall have completed my work by six p.m. Okay, by six p.m. I shall have completed my work by six p.m. And see one more example. We we will have we will have written 
written the exam we will have written the exam by tomorrow okay okay they they will have reached they will have reached the station they will have reached the station by by 4 am tomorrow okay can you see okay i shall have completed shall have plus v3 and here will have plus v3 and will have plus v3 okay so the future perfect tense is it shows an action that will be completed by certain time in the future certain time in the future by tomorrow by next week by evening by in the morning by tomorrow morning by two days likewise we use okay okay friends so these are the three tenses we discussed about present perfect past perfect and future perfect okay thank you